Hi there YouTube, Extreme Trains here. So in front of me you can see a rather small selection of Thomas Minis, but probably some Minis you haven't seen before, at least not in the flesh. That's because these are the brand new Minis from the first wave of Minis for 2017, which have just started arriving in stores around Australia as far as I can tell. Now, this wave as you can see is actually really really small, particularly when we only look at the new items, because they've changed quite a few things about the way they market and they present the Minis this time around. So. Quite a bit to talk about, even though there's not a lot on screen. Let's get to it. So firstly, I just want to have a quick look at the packaging for this year. As again, you can see it's the same similar design, although we've got new engines on the front here. We've got one 2017. What's weird about this year um, is that the numbers are actually are super all over the place. So. Like, they're in the hundreds, but there's heaps of numbers that are skipped, and there's a couple of numbers, particularly the old, the repeats from last year, I think have the same numbers as last year, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on. It's it's quite odd. Um, I encourage you to check out the numbering website, if you just go to Thomas Minis Checklist, there's a website that's got all the numbers on it. Um, that's a far more better way of doing it than me actually telling you what they are. But yeah, the number system has changed this year, it's gotten to very high digits, um, it's really odd. So just be wary of that when you're trying to work out which Minis are which. Equally, what's interesting is that this pamphlet, this time, only has the minis that are included in this first wave. So if we open it up, we get a generic picture of essentially what the first year minis or second year minis were. Then we get the classics at the top here, and the special ones here. So you can see in this whole wave, there's actually only this many minis. Last year we even went on to the other side, no. I only have this many, and somewhat impressively, there's actually only these classic ones which are repeats. Now, this series is really interesting because there's actually no Thomas at all. Usually there's some Thomas in each series, but um, yeah, this series we've got no Thomas. There's a Thomas here, but he's not included. Um, you can see there's obviously an official one. There you go, classic styles also available. Um, returning favourites are noted again. You can just see that they've really, really p like powered back what they're advertising. To be honest, I think this is good. I think this is a better way of doing it because it means that you know which ones from the current series you have to collect. So I'm glad they've gone to this. But what it does mean is it's a little bit less impressive um, when you're looking at what minis have actually got coming this year. All right, but that's all the boring stuff out of the way. Let's look at the minis. So the two new classic minis we've got are quite unusual. The first one here is Bertie the Bus. Yep, you heard me right. Bertie the Bus, who goes on road, is now a Thomas Mini. Um... Okay, uh, look, I think the design of Bertie, like this top half of him, is excellent. I think it's really, really good. It looks very much like Bertie. I think it could have done with a painted window, which I believe the original um, uh, renders had him with a painted front window, and also, like, I think this window was painted as well. I think it, this is a bit of a Diesel 10 syndrome where the front looks a bit plain, um, but I'm glad they got the headlights in there. And the side's nice, got all the important details there, and the shape is right, but... Oh, look, to me, he just looks too much like he's got train wheels, because essentially he does have train wheels, right? Um, yeah, this is a, a strange one to me. Um, really not doing... Like, I love the idea, but I just think that it just doesn't work, because we've been told that these are train wheels, and then we've got a bus top on them. So, yeah, cool idea. Execution not so good. Next character we've got is a definitely a fan favourite who's just made his semi-recent return to the television series, and this is Duck. Uh, I think Duck looks quite nice. I think they've got all this... Again, the top half, I think, is really well detailed. You can see mine's got a little weird little divity thing in there. Um, but otherwise, you know, you've got all the right detailing on the sides here. Very nice Duck face, I think, or at least the new Duck CGI face. Um, yeah, to me, this one's really nice. It's just that this grey... All this grey here is a bit off to me. Now, I know it's like kind of what he's got in the TV series, but I just think that it looks it looks weird. Like, I think in a toy form, it does look a bit strange, but I might just be used to the old duck with, you know, had the green or black wheels, um, depending on which merchandising range it was. Uh, yeah, so, good mould. I think the colouring for the bottom is a little bit off, but otherwise I think this is a really good classic character. All right, now they've grouped these kind of weirdly, so I've grouped them as they've got in the, the packaging. The first two we've got are like the monster spooky ones. This one here is, like, Mummy Emily, I think, or something. I'm not exactly sure what it's supposed to be. To me, like, on the front, 
I think that reminds me of some famous monster, but I can't think of what it is. The Mummy, maybe? Um, but this one is really awesome because we finally got a totally transparent mini. This was supposed to be the Scarlowy mini. The snow one from the first year of minis was meant to be transparent, but it wasn't. It was blue transparent. This one is totally, totally transparent, and I think it's awesome looking. Um, again, I'm not totally sure what the character is meant to be. If you know it, please let me know, but... Yeah, no, this mini is excellent. I'm a really big fan of that clear plastic that they used. And then we've got Samson as yet another creature thing. Again, this is meant to be a monster. I don't know. I don't really like these kind of ones. Um, and I think Samson's been used for like two monsters now or something. And I'm like, please stop. It's just, no. Nope. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure what this is meant to be. Like a crocodile or something. I don't know. I don't know what that one's supposed to be, but I'm not a big fan of it. If you are a fan of it, good for you, I suppose. The next two are part of the new theme for this year, which is aquatic themed. Um, so here we get... Wait a second. Bert! So after two years of minis, we finally get Bert to go with Ari. Um, this is really nice. Um, I imagine we're getting a classics version of him as well, but this is really nice. Again, I think the colours on this one are really quite cool. They're a little bit washed out on camera. Um, like they're, they're coming out a little bit lighter than they actually are. Um, this purple is definitely more pink than purple, but that's okay. Um, it, very nice. Very, very nice. I like the colouring. Um, I'll show the jellyfish printing. Yeah, this is a weird one, but I think, again, it's weird done right, and I really like this one. The next one is, I'm assuming it's going to be Killer Whale Gator. Uh, again, I think it's clever use of the shape of Gator, particularly for the face there. And again, nice use of colours. Um, I'm not super big fan of the design, just because it doesn't particularly appeal to me, but I think the idea is good, and it's been done really well for what it is. Um, I'm just not a big fan of this one. I think that one just looks, looks more exciting. Um, but yeah, again, let me know your thoughts on that one. Um, these creature ones that animals are a bit on the fence about, this one I think is done well, but not one of my favourites. Coming to the back, we've got more animals, so that's four animal themed engines in this wave, which is to me too many, but anyway, so this is Animal Hero, who is interestingly, like, I was trying to think of a Japanese recognisable world famous animal, and I actually couldn't think of one, um, apart from like fish, but that's in sushi, so I don't know, um, and so I guess the, the choice of going with like a tiger or leopard lion kind of print here kind of makes sense, um, yeah, I don't know, it's, again, not a bad looking mini, I'm just not totally sure about the decision making that went into making him these colours, but, I don't know, let me know what you think about that one, I'm not really sure. And then we get one construction Millie, um, which is part of the new construction theme, this one I think is quite cool, I really like the way they've done this one here, I think it's a cool use of the colours of construction materials, so you've got that nice kind of brown, maroon kind of colour, which I think looks really nice. Yeah, I think this is a nice one, and I think the construction theme, when they're all together, are going to look really, really good. Uh, yeah, so this one to me is a win. Now, next we get to Space. I believe it's Space. I'll double check what it's got here. Yes, Space. Space Spencer, and this is, to me, one of the better executions of a theme. So this is Spencer. I imagine he's supposed to be a space shuttle kind of thing. Which makes total sense, because you know what? He kind of looks like a rocket ship. Um, so this, to me, is really, really well done. I really, really like it. Um, clever use of, like, the NASA kind of blue. and that. You know, we've got a fake kind of NASA logo in there as well, which is really, really nice. It's getting a bit closer on that one. You can just see there's quite a lot of detail in the print. Nice colouring. This one, to me, is good. I'm a fan of the way they've integrated the theme. I just don't know what that is on the top there. But that aside, um, yeah, this one's really good. I really, really like it. And then last, but certainly not least, the one that I forgot and I had to go back to the store and buy separately is the nighttime theme, which apparently is a separate theme from space. Um, you can see this is nighttime Emily. Her face, I think, is a little bit different this year. Correct me if I'm wrong. It just looks a little bit more rounded than it did previously. Um, Otherwise, you can see she's got quite an exciting, you know, moon and stars pattern on there with the bright yellow wheels and the... Again, this is coming out very blue on camera, and I'm not totally sure why, but um, she's definitely purple. This is definitely like a purple. Um, why am I camera... Camera, why are you doing that? Anyway, look, shh. 
Yeah, this is definitely more of a purple than the blue, which is coming out on camera. But um, yeah, really, really, really nice. Again, a nice one. I think it's quite cool, and I think the colouring is really good. So I'm a fan. All right, so wave one of minis for 2017 is now out. What do I think? Well, you can see I actually still like more of them than I don't like um, this this wave, even though it's quite a small wave. Um, and I particularly like, which is something I think is important to mention now, that the price of these minis seems to have gone down like permanently. Um, like I know, okay, one of the cheaper stores in Australia, Kmart, that sells these, was last year selling them for about two fifty, and now they've gone down to two dollars each. So I think for two dollars, this is a pretty decent toy for two bucks. Um, yeah, so I think that's that's exciting, good to see. I still think though that like I don't know, we they think they missed an opportunity here to include some of the really new stuff like the rolling stock into this first wave because I do still feel like that there's definitely a solid staleness which is sitting over the minis and I think they need to fix that by introducing lots more rolling stock and by really really thinking about how they want to do the playsets because I mean the playsets are fun but they're all kind of the same thing so I think they really need to be pushing these new angles they want to go for um, if they actually want them to be a success because as much as I do like these minis it is still a little bit of a case of like oh more minis or more blind bags. I wasn't expecting to buy them. I just walked in and saw them. And I was like, oh, cool, all right. Um, but, yeah, I do think there's still a little bit of work to be done with the minis to make them the excitement they originally were, and that's definitely going to come from doing more work in creating new characters, uh, particularly new rolling stock, like, wagon characters, rather than just keep hashing out more and more bizarre themes. Alright, so that's my thoughts on these. What are your thoughts? Please let me know in the comments below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and make sure you keep coming back and checking my channel every couple weeks for a new video, because YouTube apparently has stopped notifying people. I thought it was just a rumour, but no, it's actually a legit thing, because like famous YouTubers that aren't me are talking about it, so it's definitely something which is happening. Don't ask me why, YouTube's clearly very stupid. Um, but yeah, if you actually want to keep watching my videos, make sure to, if you're not getting emails about them, which is totally fine, because, you know, that would be really annoying, make sure you actually come and check my channel, because you're not going to get notified on, like, the YouTube homepage necessarily anymore, um, the way you used to. So, that would be really cool. Let me know what you think. But, as always, thanks for watching. That's all we have time for. This is Extreme Trains.